stop. Today we're gonna teach you how to saddle a horse. All right, first you start by brushing the horse and making sure there's no dirt or dust under where the saddle goes, which is on his back and underneath here. Okay. Okay, once he's all brushed off, you take the hoof pick. That's what a hoof pick looks like. And you pick up a foot and you get all the rocks and the dirt out so that it doesn't go through their hoof. And you do that for all four feet. Alright, this is the saddle pad. This goes under the saddle to protect their back. Okay, you put it up, right? So their withers, that's the bone right here, the top part of their back. And you put it right there to make sure it's nice and even on both sides. Okay. And then you take the saddle and you swing it up over top. Make sure it's nice and fitted to their back. And you take the stitches down. And this is the breast collar. And you get that down. Okay. You put the stirrup up so it's out of your way. And then you take the latigo. And you grab the front stitch. And you put the latigo through it. And then up to this D ring again. And down through the cinch's D ring. Okay. And then you take the back cinch and this is, and put it on the off billet. That's what this is called. Doc's kind of fat, so it's probably not going to fit very good. Okay. And then you take the breast collar. And you put it up on this little ring right here. You don't want it too tight, but you don't want it too loose because that's what keeps the saddle from sliding back. And then you take this little snap and you attach it to the cinch down here. Okay. And you're ready to go. Alright, now we're going to show you what to do before you get on your horse so that make sure your equipment is all ready to go. First, you want to make sure that your breast collar is nice and not too snug but in place so that your saddle doesn't slide back. Okay, so that looks good. Next you want to make sure your front cinch, this is mainly what holds on your saddle, so you want to make sure that's nice and snug but not too snug to the point where it's hurting your horse. So if you can get a couple fingers in there, usually that's pretty good. out of your way. The back cinch, people do it different ways. I like to keep it so it's just barely touching them so that in case your saddle comes up, it'll keep your saddle, the back end of your saddle from coming up so it doesn't hurt their back. Alright, you want to make sure that your stirrups are set for your height, which these are because this is my saddle. So, yep, that's about it. And then, um, we'll put the bridle on next. Okay, next we're going to put the bridle on. And since it's cold outside, usually what people do is they'll put their hand on the bit and hold it there for a couple minutes just to warm the metal up because nobody would want cold metal in their mouth. Um, different, different people do different things. I guess what I like to do is I like to take their halter and put it around their neck. It'll keep the horse from wandering off while you're trying to do this. Other people will just take it off if they trust their horses. <laughs> You're going to want to put your hand spread out right there and put it on top of their pole, which would be right between their ears. And then, I guess what I like to do... <laughs> Doc's excited to put the bit in his mouth. Sometimes horses that don't like bits in their mouth, you got to stick their finger in between your teeth, but Doc seems pretty excited here. Also, you want to put their outside ear in first and then slip their inside ear in. And once you got it on, make sure it's all sat in there properly. And then their throat latch, you want to make tight, but not too tight. You're Just so. You can then remove the halter. Pick up your 
reins and you're ready to go ride. Okay, next you're gonna show you how to get on. What you're gonna wanna do is grab their nose a little bit, that way that they don't run off and point it towards you a little bit. Then you're gonna take the hand with the rein in it, which would be your left hand, and put it on the palm of the saddle. And then grab the back of the saddle to help hoist yourself up. You can use, put your left foot in the stirrup and hoist yourself up. Once you're up, you swing your right leg around, get yourself situated and check your other stirrup. And then you're ready to ride. Okay, we're gonna show you how you can uh, give cues to your horses to like make them go stop back up and turn. And we're also gonna throw in a little special thing Doc likes to, Doc has a really good talent at. Okay, first thing you're gonna wanna do is your go. Go, you can just either kiss to your horse or kick or either way. You kinda lean forward and give the horse a cue and it'll start walking forward. Okay, for the next one we're gonna do a stop. Stops are easy. All you do is you pull back gently on the horse's mouth and the horse should stop. And to get a back up, you'll do the same thing. You'll just keep pulling back nice and gentle and as soon as they give you a cue, you would. it's probably best to give them their head. That way they know they did a good job. All right, now for turning. Since JC's wearing a, or JC's gonna do a two-handed and we're gonna do a neck reading. All right, okay. So for the two-handed to turn right, all you're gonna do is grab your right rein and you're gonna pull and just pull it back to your back to your hip and your horse will turn. Same goes with the left. Just pull your left back and the horse will turn left. Okay, now if you were neck reining, I go left first. Okay, we're gonna do a left-handed neck rein. You're gonna lay the reins across the horse's lay it across the right side of the horse's neck. So and you just put your leg into them and most horses now, just go for for a little bit expert riders and expert horses that know how to do this, we're gonna do what is called a side pass. Okay, you're gonna wanna pull the horse's nose in and give them, uh, use your other outside leg, your left leg to push them a little bit and the horse will walk sideways. Now, not all horses know how to do this. It's, it's gotta be trained and turned, taught to them. And a lot of horses will get frustrated, but Doc's pretty professional at this. And that's how you will ride your horse.